Okay, this video is about this uh, this sensor here, which I think this is the only way available on the market at the moment. But uh, I think it's a bit off charts according to the original one. So um, in order to to try to test it, uh, I have one brand new one put in here. We're we're about this uh, temperature. Uh, 16.8 approximately and I'll measure the ohmic reading there might be a little cooler in there it's, it's morning and, and temperature it might have been um, lower during the night and rising now but anyway at the moment it says uh, 12 kilo ohms here and what I think uh, if I read in the books at uh, 16, 17 degrees, we should be around uh, around uh, 10, 9.7 kilo ohm or something like that. So we are way high here, I think. So what it actually does, it does tell the engine that it's very cold, and um, it needs to fuel it more because of the the low temperature. So I I, I Made this device where they say 100 kilo ohm uh, resistance in um, in parallel connection. So I'll put this on now here and uh, take another reading. Let's see what that does. Yes, it lowers this quite well. And uh, not as long as I wanted it to be but anyway the temperature in there could be different from what I think I had them out uh, trying them the sensors off in water to to get the actually readings from uh, different temperatures so what I will try to do is to install this in my engine and see if they've made it different because I think it's uh, difficult to make it uh, idle properly especially when it's cold and things like that and, and uh, we are here in Denmark have not as hot temperatures in, as in California and all the places, but um, okay. Actually, I made this uh, this uh, charge where I have um, put in original uh, curve is the top one. No, no, sorry, the blue one is the original one. The um, the white one is the one which I measured. It's quite off, and especially at the lower temperatures, has a bigger difference. So when when I put this uh, hundred.